Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will see step by step execution of Java program. To get into these details, let us see how a traditional programming languages get executed. So herein I have taken the example of C program. Uh, the program that you write is called as the source file which is saved uh, uh, with the .c extension. So this source file is given to the C compiler and the C compiler will generate the obj file and then after linking you will get the exe file. So this exe file is platform dependent because this will be dependent the C compiler will generate the code based on the operating systems. It, it is machine dependent executes and that exe file in case if this compiler is converting it to um, converting it on windows operating system then this exe file will execute only on windows operating system if it is converting to machine code of uh, mac os then the exe file will execute only on mac os such kind of thing is called as platform dependent so now if you take this exe file onto mac os and then execute it will not work if this exe file is generated for windows it will not work on mac os hope all of you understood what is meant by platform dependent but unlike this java is a platform independent programming language we'll see how that is possible now the source file is the program that you write and which is saved with the dot java extension you can write the source code on IDEs like Eclipse, NetBeans, etc. So you can use these IDEs for uh, writing your source code. After that, you can you have to compile it on a Java C compiler. So now the Java C compiler will produce the byte code and the byte code is called as intermediate code or it is fully optimized code or it is also called as universal code. And the byte code is saved in dot class file. Okay, so this dot class file will contain the byte code. And this byte code is making Java platform independent because we'll see how that is possible. Now this byte code can execute on Sun Solaris machine or Windows machine or Mac machine or Linux machine provided there is JVM specific to Sun Solaris is installed here. And here JVM specific to Windows is installed over here. That's why we say JVM is platform dependent whereas Java program is platform independent. So here you need to have JVM which is specific to Windows installed here. And here you need if you want this bytecode to execute on Mac OS you need to have JVM which is specific to Mac OS. And if you want to execute this bytecode on Linux, then you need to have JVM which is specific to Linux operating system. So because of the, uh, of the bytecode, you can execute the Java program on various operating systems. So this is called as platform independent. Hope this video is helpful to you. Stay home, stay safe, happy learning. Bye.